Hey now, welcome to Freedom Sufferer Cards video number 715. And today, I said, I said, BAM! Man, yeah! We will celebrate the Netherlands for no reason except for because I want to, man. There will be multiple videos in this episode. We are talking about combining festivals. Man, yeah! Fired up, man. All kinds of fired up. Tell them what you're going to show them, you know? All right, Randy, I'm getting to that. Yeah! Better be, man. You know? All right, Randy. Well, I'm going to show you a few things. I'm going to show you some clips from February. Something called Carnival, which is like four days of partying in the country. During the daytime, there are parades going on with floats that are made by the Dutch people, groups of friends. These are gigantic beasts of floats, let me tell you. And then they end up like selling them or who knows what happens to them because there's not a single garage that could keep that in their meal. Some barns, yeah, fields, you will see shortly. And then we will also go over, was it in April? I believe it is in April. Something called Have a Face, which is Hava is harbor faced festival party. It's a harbor party, man. There you will see things like stands. Oh, man. You want more stands, man? You want to stand? Understand, man. Yeah. They're trying to understand, Randy, but you keep cutting it off. Stands, like, sort of like a flea market type of deal, like we have here during King's Day but different. There is parties going on there as well, and music. We got businesses setting up shop there as well. It was just a fun time. And I ended up coming across a couple of things that I picked up as well, which I will show you after all the clips. So I hope you enjoy this, and hopefully I'm able to share a little bit of the Dutch culture and the good times, man, with all you fine people. So enjoy these clips and I will be right back, man!
<laughs> all right, man. Check this out. Look at all of these comics here. Here in Half a Face, we got some gems. We got Superman's going on, Red Sonia. Picked up a couple. Yeah, we keep going more. There's the man with the plan. Outstanding. Thank you well, huh? Man, those things were insane, man. Complete mental insanity. Yeah, I said it right there, man. What were those, man? Randy, those things, try and explain it before the episode kicked off, you know? These are like floats. Floats, man, yeah. Yeah, they're put together by the Dutch people. Why, man? What's the theme? What was going on there, man? Theme? There are themes, but I actually don't remember that there are themes per region. All right, man? Uh -huh. Generally, Carnival is only celebrated in Brabant. North Brabant, in, in a province that's pretty much looked at as a farming land. Farming lands? Yeah. None of that makes any sense at all, man. I know, Randy. Look. Were they cool or not? Yeah, man. That's all that matters. They were cool. But as you saw, I also passed by and found a comic shop there. And I did pick up four comics, as well as his business card, which I will show you right about now. Alright, man! But I did pick up four comics, and there will be more in the future. So let me show you what I did grab. Now you're, if you're wondering why only four, because I only had a little bit of change on me, man. Come on, come on, come on, man! Come on, man! Man! Alright, Randy, settle down. Knock the camera and everything. Oh! oh. Alright, we'll, no, we'll, no. we will start with, I guess, a semi-controversial comic here. Now, before I show you, this Junior Press Strip is a company that started in 1977, I think. And they took, and they took over the rights to distribute things like Marvel Comics, and that was around 1979. Up until 2004, I believe. 2000? Was it 2000 and, and something, man? 2007, I believe. They've changed their name. They're now no longer called Junior Press Strip. They're called Mice and Mass. Insane. But between 79 and 2007, it was Junior Press Strip. There was one other company in the, in the middle there. Middleman before it got to mice in mass, but here you go. You might recognize these as Ren and Stimpy. Come on, come on, man. Let me show you Marvel. See, it's Marvel, but the distributor, Junior Press Strip. This is number three. I figured it was worth picking up. Got Fidel Castro and Saddam there being portrayed. You got them sort of taunting like Fidel we that means like Fidel who Saddam who how what do you mean man so they are trying to be some types of dictators here I have not yet read this comic but the fact they had a Ren and Stimpy comic there to begin with all kinds of awesome let me show you a little bit of the artwork you know what to, what to expect it's Ren and Stimpy I still will be doing eventually as I pick up the comics I will be picking up more and more I will be doing some eventually some comic reviews I said that way before we're talking like a year ago maybe even longer and I mean it it will happen this is time all right there's the 
fish. All kinds of fun, man. You know what to expect, Ren and Sippy, and if you don't, check it out sometime. It's a good time, man. So that was comic number one that we picked up. Comic number two, Indiana Jones number one. And this one is from 1982. Show you. There's no possible way I could show it all to you, but that's very cool. Some kind of shirtless Moon Knight ripoff there, but Raiders of the Lost Ark. This is very cool. Very cool old school comic. And look at the inside covers here. I was very happy to pick this up. Yes, there's a little writing on it. They're all used. All these comics are used, but they're in pretty decent shape considering. Even the smell of these comics, let me tell you, they smell exactly the same as they did for me back in Canada, man, in the 80s. Brings back all kinds of memories. Of course, this is all in Dutch. No problem at all. No problem at all, man. So there you have it. And on the back cover, you've got Super Super Helder Parade. It's like Superhero Parade. Special gemaakt for jou, omdat je kwaliteit weet te waarderen. All right, man. Especially made for you. Because you understand and you know the importance of things like value. Come on. Come on! Now we got this beauty of a gem that I was surprised to find there. Use. We got Red Sonya number one. Oh man! Oh man! Are you hearing this, Gary B? Come on, man. Look at this. Now, again, I believe Red Sonya number one in North America was released in 1979. But uh, here in the Netherlands, 1981, the stormachtige aventuren van Red Sonja, rode harige, beauty out the Iboranse A. So this is like the stormy adventures from Red Sonja, the red hair fury out of the Hyborian era. Amazing. Love this old school comic, old school artwork. I'm going to have to read all of these and give them a proper proper review. Here we go. We got Red Sonia number one. I'm going to pick up a couple more of these from him. Just very cool. Located in quite a beautiful part of the Netherlands, like I said, farm lands and all kinds of green. Yeah. The last one I got was a very special one as well. We got the Superman. Man from Style, Man of Steel. Omnibus. So we got a couple of issues in this one comic. It is a thick one. Check out that sloppy approved thickness. And this one was released in... Uh, let me see. Man. You're going to have different stories in here, so... 1987, this one was printed in Finland, Junior Press there as well, Junior Press also did DC and many other things, so we will have, as mentioned, a bunch of earlier stories here, including the origin one, let's move off to another story, Superman, second one, The Unt Decking, that's when you reveal, or the revealing of Superman. Take a look at this artwork. Now, of what I'm not certain of, you, you will have to let me know. I'm going to give a few shout-outs when this is over to a few comic book communities. This one, Naman, I'm sure you would know, are these the same illustrations that were released in North America with the Superman episodes, issues, I should say. Now we've got a few of them, like I said, a few different stories in this book. And it would be interesting if I could actually do a nice review of all of this in one. We've got Batman, Star Power Man. Of course, you can't get more star power than 
Man of Steel himself, Superman. But Batman's there too. So they have included some very interesting stories. I cannot wait to get through this. There's another one. The Art Viant is like the Earth's enemy. Lex. It's Spiegel Bailed Barst. There you go, there's Lex again. Again, man. Lex Luger. Luther, Randy. Always bringing up the wrestling. Come on, man, the narcissist, man. Lex Luger, man. He had plenty of static, man. Yeah, he did, Randy, but but we're still talking about Le Lex Luthor, you know, like Superman. Oh, oh, man, yeah, Lex, man. I don't think he knows who Lex Luthor is, but whatever. It is what it is. Here we go. Take another few looks as we quickly glance through these pages. And we're left. And we're left with a quick recap there of what I picked up. I hope you enjoyed all of that. Stay tuned. Please believe me when I say I will eventually be doing comic reviews. I just have to give it the proper time and attention it deserves, as I'm about to do right now to close off. In closing, I would like to say that there is still time to get your votes in. There is a CBC Awards. We're talking about the Comic Book Community Awards going on. Yeah. They are nominating a bunch of people at the moment you can join in. Please, please do so if you have any friends within the comic community or you know any channels. They would love to hear from you. So I'm going to leave a link there. Also for Brian LCS, who is helping run this bad boy. One of the spearheaders, if not the ultimate one. Yeah. Brian LCS, he's primarily spider-man but he's got everything Tr trust me he does have a lot it is not only spider spider-man i'm not doing this man any justice man but he he will do the justice for the whole community that is star power in the comic world man please check him out as well he's got something there for everyone he's got he has breakfast with y'all as well man it's just a good time he is a good time and very educated, all of these guys are, that I'm about to shout out. But I decided to start with him and the Comic Book Community Awards because there, the time is ticking, man. There is still time, but you, you should, should do it as soon as possible. All right, man. Then we got Gary B. So we're talking, showing uh, Red Sonia, a huge fan of Red Sonia, but he is the Conan expert. Again, doing him a big injustice to just say... Su Something like Spider-Man for Brian LCS and Conan for Gary B, because they are far more than that. Believe me, Savage Tales, man. Oh, yeah, man. I love that one, man. There are plenty of good tales. He does amazing reviews. He's got lives as well as Brian, where they're going live, and they are very interactive, very approachable. Plenty of guests on their channels. Just amazing, amazing. Another guy that's got a lot of guests who is extremely talented. You might know him as the real Iron Man. Man. But we're talking about Nana. We're talking about a comic bookworm. An excellent artist himself. He also has plenty of guests this whole month of May. He had guests to celebrate the Asian illustrators. Just, just a touch there are so many amazingly talented people that all of us are sub to, but he puts a spotlight. Doesn't matter what time it is, man, but it's always a good time over there. Trust me on that. He's got all the big names on there. He's got everybody. This comic book community is very tightly knit. So I will leave a link for him as well in the video description. Comic Bookworm. We got Main Event. Main Event Comics. He's so involved and extremely awesome he's also got his own wrestling league going on man you want to be part of that wrestling league just contact him like i said these people are all approachable they're all great people he's got loads of fun stuff on there as well not only comics he's a very busy man in the industry man 
And we got Mark Spector. Oh man, oh man. Again, doing him a great injustice to just connect him to Moon Knight and Moon Knight only, but because he is more than that, man. He's got all kinds of great pickups, vintage. He's got all kinds of cool modern stuff. You will see variant, pawn variant, man. A pawn variant, man. Beer reviews. Oh, oh. That's a cool guy. He will take you in the nature walks too. All of these awesome channels, I'm telling you, they are all worth your time. They are all original. They're just great people. So please check them all out in the video description. And check out that link to the CBC Awards. All right, man. I believe that we are now ready to close this off. If you like this video, please give the video a like. Subscribe if you are not yet subscribed and leave a comment sharing your thoughts perhaps on any of the crazy images and videos you just witnessed or on some of the pickups what was your favorite let me know or anything at all man all right take good care of yourselves take good care of those around you do not put anybody in the danger zone you wouldn't want any Derek, man. No, no. I will see you all soon. Real soon. The power of all the little warriors going through my veins, Lex Luthor Hogan. Here we got green legs, ready to save lives. Ready to save lives. Good stuff, you got this right up here. Life-saving equipment, perfect. Good job, Greenie.